Hello, my name is Dr. Savan Hilo, the head of male infertility at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. If you're considering a vasectomy reversal, you likely have many questions. Our goal is to help you learn about vasectomy reversal so you can decide what's best for you. After watching the series of videos, you'll be given the option to complete an online questionnaire to schedule your vasectomy reversal or make an appointment for an in-office consultation if you have further questions. In addition to completing my residency in urology, I completed additional fellowship training in male infertility and sexual medicine. I love what I do for a living, and I enjoy working with couples to help them expand their families. Vasectomy reversal is the most common surgery that I perform. I typically perform two to three reversals a week. Whether you choose to have your vasectomy reversal at Mayo Clinic or elsewhere, do your homework ahead of time. As I'll discuss in the following videos, your surgeon's experience and technique are important in the success of your vasectomy reversal. If after reviewing the following videos, you still have questions or would like to be seen in the office for a consultation, please contact us for more information. Vasectomy reversal is a surgical procedure done to restore fertility for a man who has had a vasectomy. To reconnect the vas deferens, the tube that carries sperm from the testicle to the ejaculate. The procedure can be performed in the office using light sedation or in the operating room using general anesthesia. If you choose to have the procedure done in the office, you can eat a light breakfast the morning of your procedure. If you're having the procedure done under general anesthesia, you cannot drink or eat anything eight hours before your surgery. Regardless of whether you have your surgery done in the clinic or in the operating room, you'll be able to go home the same day. Most patients choose to have this procedure done in the office and typically tolerate it very well. When we do this procedure in the office, we use light sedation, which is a combination of medications that will relax you and cause most patients to fall asleep for at least a portion of the procedure. We also use a long-acting numbing medication to prevent pain during the procedure, and because it lasts for up to four days, it also helps reduce pain after surgery. During vasectomy reversal, a small opening is made in the scrotum to locate the vas deferens that were cut during your vasectomy. The scar tissue is removed from both ends of the vas deferens, leaving two freshly cut ends. A sample of fluid is taken from the vas deferens on the end closest to the testicle. Using a microscope, the fluid is examined for sperm. If sperm are present, then the two ends of the vas deferens are connected. This procedure is called a vasovasostomy, or VV for short. It is also sometimes referred to as a simple connection. If no sperm are present, then there's likely a blockage between the freshly cut end of the vas deferens and the testicle. In this situation, a connection is made directly to the epididymis, the part of the testicle where sperm are stored, to bypass this blockage. This procedure is called an epididymovasostomy, or EV for short. It's also sometimes referred to as a complex connection. An epididymovasostomy is a much more difficult procedure because it's like connecting a hose to a straw. The openings of the two tubes being connected are different in size, which is why success rates for this type of connection are lower than a vasovasostomy or simple connection. The type you'll have depends on what is found during surgery. You may end up with a simple connection on both sides, a simple connection on one side and a complex connection on the other, or a complex connection on both sides. If we perform an epididymovasostomy, you can expect the testicle on that side to ride higher than it did before the vasectomy reversal. After the connection is made, the skin is closed with dissolvable stitches, so you don't need to return to have stitches removed. A small bandage is put on top of the stitches, which you can remove in 24 hours and resume showering. Three months after your vasectomy reversal, you'll need to have a semen analysis to see if the vasectomy reversal worked. This can be done at a lab close to your home. If you had a simple connection, it can take up to six months for sperm to show up in your ejaculate. If you had a complex connection, it can take up to 12 months for sperm to show up in your ejaculate. Vasectomy reversal is a low-risk procedure with a complication occurring less than 5% of the time. However, all procedures have some risk. For vasectomy reversal, these include hematoma, which is a collection of blood in the scrotum. This usually doesn't require any further treatment. The collection of blood will get reabsorbed by the body over time. Another is infection. Signs of infection include redness, warmth, and foul-smelling drainage from the incision. 
Most skin infections can be treated with antibiotics. If you choose to have the procedure performed under general anesthesia, there are certain risks with anesthesia that your anesthesiologist will discuss with you. As with any surgery, chronic pain is also a risk. Lastly, one of the most common questions I get from couples considering vasectomy reversal is what about the risk of birth defects after vasectomy reversal? Approximately 3% of all children born in the United States are born with major birth defects. The rate of birth defects among couples who get pregnant after vasectomy reversal is slightly higher at 5%, although the evidence supporting this is very limited and may be due to other factors such as age of the mother or father. For comparison, the risk of birth defects for a baby conceived by in vitro fertilization is 9%. After you've been sedated, it's common to have laps lapses in memory, slow reaction time, and impaired judgment. You'll need a driver on the day of your procedure. If you've traveled to Rochester by plane, you'll be able to fly home the following day. You'll be given a prescription for pain medications, such as Percocet. These medications cause constipation and nausea on an empty stomach, and you can't drive or drink alcohol while taking these medications. In addition, you'll also be given a prescription strength anti-inflammatory medication like ibuprofen. During the procedure, you'll be given a long-acting numbing medication. This numbing medication lasts for up to four days, so most men report good pain control following vasectomy reversal. You can start showering within 24 hours of the procedure, but you should avoid soaking in water like a bath, hot tub, or swimming pool until the skin's totally healed, which is usually one to two weeks. Most men can return to work 72 hours after vasectomy reversal. Recovery from your vasectomy reversal is different than your initial vasectomy. Too much activity can cause the stitches to pull apart. For six weeks after vasectomy reversal, you should wear an athletic supporter or supportive underwear, do not lift more than 15 pounds, and do not squat or do strenuous activities such as jogging or an elliptical. It's okay to start ejaculating two weeks after your procedure and resume having sex at four weeks. I hope you found this video from the Mayo Men's Health Moment series informative. Please view my videos on vasectomy reversal success rates, questions to ask your surgeon before vasectomy reversal, and alternatives to vasectomy reversal or options if vasectomy reversal fails for more information. If you'd like to schedule your vasectomy reversal, please fill out the online questionnaire on mayoclinic.org or contact us using the info pictured on your screen. This is Dr. Savan Hilo from the Mayo Clinic signing off. Thanks for watching.